Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello kids Welcome to the video I'm glad to see you again in English learning As we know, the pandemic is not over yet But surely we hope that the pandemic will end soon I'm Miss Anti and we are going to learn about people's personality We'll use adjectives and knowing about antonyms of some adjectives. Let's get started. Adjective is a word that describes a noun. We use adjectives to describe what are people like. Now let's pay attention to the vocabulary of adjectives. Please listen to the speaker and we will use adjectives to describe each child in the picture. What always surprises me about my granddaughter is the way in which she loves to take center stage she doesn't get nervous at all and seems quite at home speaking to lots of people. I just don't understand why he gets so angry. If we don't pass him the ball all the time, he just stops playing and walks off the football field. I really admire my friend Aisha. She's so studious. She loves learning about new things and always has her head in a book. Needless to say, she always gets top marks in class. Camilla is my best friend. She's such a kind, generous person. We share everything. Our pencils, our pens, our secrets, and our sweets and chocolates, of course. Come on, Natasha. Why are you hiding? It's my friend. She's just saying hello to you. Cheng is a very tidy person. He always tidies up his bedroom and puts his food wrappers and empty bottles in the bin in the park. You can find more adjectives to describe kinds of personality. Now let's have a practice. Please, listen carefully to the school report. Juan has progressed quite well this year. He is a very polite, happy pupil and a very popular member of the class. However, he isn't as hardworking as other pupils in the class and sometimes forgets to do his homework. The presentation of his work is always excellent, but sometimes his marks aren't very good because he gets very nervous when we have an exam. Think about this. Which picture of the boy described in the report? Good! So here are adjectives that describe Yuan personality. Now, think about adjective to describe yourself. Listen to the example. I think I'm selfish because I don't like sharing foods and toys with my friends. Now, we are going to know about words that have the opposite meaning to another word, or we call it antonyms. Here are the examples of antonyms. Generous, selfish. Amused, bored. Dangerous, safe. Proud, humble. Careful, careless. Nervous, calm. Optimistic, pessimistic. Well, sometimes you don't need to search for another word entirely. It's possible to create an antonym simply by adding prefix to the word. Tidy, untidy. 
honest, dishonest, patient, impatient, friendly, unfriendly. Okay, now you know about adjectives to describe personality and words of adjectives with their opposite meaning. Well, thank you for joining me. See you again in the next video. Bye! Moms and Dads sedang mencari sekolah yang nyaman dan berkualitas untuk si kecil? Hari ini telah dibuka penerimaan siswa baru Playgroup dan TK Terpadu Budi Mulia 2 Seturan. Dilengkapi dengan fasilitas yang lengkap, playground luas berstandar Eropa, kolam renang, ruang kelas yang nyaman dan luas, ditambah dengan kurikulum bilingual Islamic Montessori yang dikemas menjadi kurikulum Budi Mulia 2, menjadikan belajar tetap menyenangkan. Sesuai moto kami, bersekolah dengan senang dan senang di sekolah.